Hi, I'm Bob Mitchell, Superintendent of Schools in uh, the Cumberland School District. And every month we're going to be doing these video vignettes to provide you with what we feel is important information about what's happening in the district. So I look forward to the opportunity to share with you uh, all of the good work that's happening in our school district. One of the most important things that, that we need to do as educators, in addition to teaching students content, that you know the this is what we want students to know and what we want students to be able to do that is critically important because we need to prepare students for college and career so it's so the what is really important but the other thing that's just as important for lifelong learning is learning how to learn so we're focusing our attention not only on the content but we're also focusing attention on teaching kids how to learn and Thinking Maps is a tool that students can use not only now as part of their learning, but it is a tool that they can use forever. So Thinking Maps are actually eight graphic organizers. What triggers the use of a Thinking Map is when students are asked to do a specific task. For example, if students are asked to summarize something that they're reading, students know that when they hear the word summarize, that vocabulary word triggers the use of a specific map, one of those eight maps. So in that particular case, students would instinctively know that they would be using what is called a circle map. So the beauty of thinking maps is it it helps students to organize their thinking and stimulate their thinking. Using summarizing as an example, when students are reading a passage um, in, in a, or, or a, 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 an excerpt from um, a story that they're reading, and they're asked to do a summary of what they've just read. A circle map, so there is an actual map, and maps are posted in every classroom. Students would, will know exactly that they are going to be putting the key points of what they just read in this circle map. So everything is contained right there. And then if they're asked to actually um, put in writing uh, what they have summarized, they have um, the circle map to refer to to um, provide them the information they need to actually write um, the summary of whatever they were asked to do. The reason that we think it's important for students to learn strategies like thinking maps is we, there's no question that it will help improve academic performance. So, you know, it's an opportunity for us to um, show that our students are, are um, growing achievement-wise and growing academically. But the beauty of the thinking maps is that not only are they going to be using it in Cumberland in grades pre-K through 12, the, this is a tool that they can use for the rest of their lives. I mean, I'm using thinking maps. All of the principals are using thinking maps, so it, it helps us to our agendas at our administrative, bi-monthly administrative meetings. We're using thinking maps in those meetings because, first of all, it's helpful to us, but we're also modeling for our teachers and our students. So this is where we are in the implementation of thinking maps in the district. We trained all of our teachers in grades K through eight um, prior to the start of the school year. So we dedicated one of our professional development days to thinking maps. So for the 2015-16 school year, um, all grades pre-K through eight are implementing thinking maps. And if anyone walked into any one of our schools, the two middle schools or any of the five elementary schools, you would see thinking maps um, all over the place. In fact, I was in a um, one of the, at Garvin Elementary School today, and there were um, 
there was evidence of maps everywhere in that school, which is a wonderful thing. That's what we want. Next year, um, we're going to be implementing thinking maps in the high school. And the only reason that we didn't do it this year is because the high school is implementing the one-to-one -one initiative during the 2015-16 school year. Next year, we'll be training high school staff on the um, use of thinking maps, which is a wonderful thing because our grade eight students who have started, who, who learned about thinking maps this year, will be able to go in grade nine and continue with that process and will continue um, using thinking maps um, through grade 12.